Hello, welcome to your watercolor class. If you're watching this video, it's because today is your first class and this is a progression class. So you're watching this one because you are going to do these exercises today to learn more about how to use watercolors. But hands on, let's get to it. From the table where we have the materials you're going to be using in this class, please go ahead and grab one bottle of water to spray on your watercolors. Please grab a cup of water that you will need for cleaning your brushes. Please grab as well one set of watercolors like these ones. And if by the time you were going to pick your watercolors that are none left, because we have just the quantity limited for this class, please go ahead and grab one disposable dish and pick just a couple of colors uh, from the tubes because there will be tubes available. Like if you want to pick green, pick green, squeeze it from the, from the bottom just a little bit. You really don't need to squeeze much. With just very little, you can really make this class and you can follow the exercises. So pick just a couple of them, just a, squeeze just a little bit of them. You really don't need a lot, as I said. And keep them reserved for the space where you are going to be working. So, pick one piece of paper, one pencil, and there are three sizes of brushes. Large, let me change this, large, medium, and small. I will say, pick the large one, because this is what is going to be more useful for uh, performing the class or for doing these exercises or pick the medium size. Just any of these two, it's fine. I will say pick the large one. So let's start with this. Pause your video, have everything ready. Oh, I am forgetting. Before we keep going, grab a piece of napkin or a piece of uh, paper roll that will be also available because we are going to put it here on the side to clean our brushes. So let's start. You are going to perform these exercises today as your first class in this piece of paper, which is watercolor paper and it's special for the class. You are going to draw four circles, not very big, just mm, this about this size of circles. And if you see it, look at, this, look at the size of my hand, look at the size of the circle. And then you are going to write these words beneath the circles. The coffee, milk, and cream. Watercolors are all about how much water you add on the colors to make them more transparent or more opaque. That's all about it. And we are going to teach you how to differentiate these different intensities of the color from the most transparent, like the tea, to the most opaque, like the cream. We use these four words for you to know, like, when we're going to be painting in the transparency of the tea, the colors are very sheer. When we are going to paint with watercolors in the transparency of the coffee, they are slightly more intense. When we will paint with the intensity of the milk, they are definitely slightly even more intense. And when we will paint like in the opacity of the cream, they are super, super intense. That's what we will see now. So now I am going to bring this set of watercolors. I'm going to start with this and I will pick my bottle of water and spray a lot of water in it to activate them. This is what we will do first. A lot, a lot of water. I'm actually going to clean this so that my piece of paper will not get so, so, so wet in the beginning. I will first grab my brush. I'm going to put this here on the side so that you see, uh, where can I set it? I can set it in, no. I'm recording this video 
in one shot. <laughs> that is why it's not going to be edited. I am going to sink my brush in the cup of water and then I will remove a little bit of water. I will pick water from my cup, excuse me, for the, for the quality of the tea. I am going to pick water from my cup. I am going to put a damp of water in here. I'm just saying if I, if you can see it, I'm going to move this a little bit there so that you can see it there. So I pick water from my cup. I put water, a damp of water there. And then I'm going to pick the color, the red. I pick just a little bit of the color and then I put it there. And as you can see, this is the color red, but very, very sheer. And this is exactly what we call the transparency of the tea. As you are seeing it, it's very, very sheer. So in this first exercise, you are going to learn how to create this. Very good. You can pause this video so that you can first make your quality of the tea with this color and put it on the first circle. Now, let's create the quality of the coffee. We are going to continue picking water from my cup of water, put a little here in this damp, and I will now grab again the color red, but I will add more of the color red. And if you are saying it's just a slight touch what I'm doing. I am not pulling a lot of color from my palette. I'm just grabbing a little bit, okay? So, in the quality of the coffee, the color, it's more intense. Let's see. Yes, the color, it's clearly more intense. Very good. So, I am going to paint my, my second circle, which is the quality of the coffee. I am going to rinse my brush, but I will continue painting with the color red and I'm going to go for the quality of the milk. For the quality of the milk, we are going to just, just put more color and put it in that damp, in that same damp. But just to prepare a little bit more of the color, I'm going to grab water to put in there. I am going to pick more color red, now seriously more color red, to make the quality of the milk. And you definitely can see this is a lot more intense than the other opacities of the color. And then I start painting my circle. Very good. All right. Now, I am going to create the quality of the cream. And to do that, we are actually going to completely remove the water from my brush. I pick the napkin. I embrace it like this because brushes are delicate. We do not do, do this like don't do that. Just grab them very, very slightly and remove the excess of water while you are while you are slightly holding it. When it feels kind of dry, it's not 100% dry, but when it feels dry, I'm going to put my napkin here. I am not going to pick water. I am going to pick color directly from my palette. Did you see that? I am going to pick color directly from my palette. And I am going to create the opacity of the cream. And of course, while you are doing this, now it's more difficult, much more, much more difficult to paint because we are grabbing the pure color directly from the palette. And this is the quality of the cream. So this is the basics for painting with watercolors, okay? Once I'm finished with this, I am going to rinse my brush. I am going to clean it in my napkin. If you see, I'm doing, very, I'm doing it very gently, okay? You are seeing I'm doing it very, very gently. I clean it very well, and I am going to draw another set of four circles, 
in the opacity of the tea, coffee, milk, and cream. And now I'm going to do the same, but with another color. However, if you were not lucky this time to get a palette for completing your exercise, we are going to do it with the other type of paint that you picked from the tubes. But before I do that, I am actually going to clean this palette just to keep it clean for my next color. So basically, we'll do the exercise again. I am going to remove this. I am going to bring these colors to show you how we will do it. I am going to grab another piece of paper so that you can see it. You, can, you are going to use the same paper. So you will have two sets of four circles on one single page, but I'm doing it for the ease of you to see it in, on the screen. And I am going to draw four circles. They don't need to be perfect. It's fine if you draw them and they are not perfect. We don't want perfection in this class. We want to have fun. And remember, we are going to write tea, coffee, milk, and cream. All right. We are going to do the very same exercise. Let me bring my napkin over here. But now using these type of watercolors, which is very much exactly the same, but they come from a tube. And do you remember how we began the other time, the, the last time? Yes, we pick a little bit of water, spray it on top to activate the watercolors. And I am going to use now the color green for you to see it. Remember, to create the quality of the tea, you grab water from your cup and wait a second. By now you may wonder, should I replace my water? No, don't replace your water. Your water is really cleaner than it looks. I know it looks dirty, but it's way cleaner than it looks. I sometimes keep a glass of water for three or four days and paint continuously with different watercolors. And by then it looks very, very dark in like a color brownish or black, but they, it is really, really very, very clean. So I am going to grab water and I am going to create a damp. Yes, I know it looks a little bit red. Believe me, it's not bad. And I am going to grab a little bit of the green color. Just a second. And I am going to create the quality of the tea, which is very, very, very transparent. Okay. Once I've done that, I am going to just rinse a little, not rinse. I am going to dry a little bit my, my uh, brush and I am going to pick more color, put it in the damp. Let me grab some more water little bit more of color. So the next intensity of the color, it's coffee. Just adding more color to the water. And now I am going, and this was tea, coffee. Let's go for milk, the same damp. I am going to just remove a little bit of the excess water in it. I am going to grab more color. I am going to dissolve it there. I, I think I need more water. Let me add more color. Yes, that looks better. It's more opaque. And I am going to create the quality of the milk. Great. Now you can see so far the three different intensities of watercolor. And I am going to Move forward now to create the cream. And if you remember to create in the color of the cream, I grab my napkin. I remove the excess water in it very gently. Remember the brushes are delicate. I'm going to set this on the side and I am going to pick paint directly from this paint that I squeezed there. And I am going to start creating the opacity of the cream. And as I said on the first example, 
it is a little bit more difficult to spread the paint because we are pulling it directly from my palette. The palette where I squeeze from my plate where I squeezed paint. All right. So by now you have already seen the four intensities of watercolors and how adding more water it, it becomes more transparent, more color to become more intense. I'm gonna rinse my brush. I am going to clean it and I am going to let you create two of this. So in the end, you will have in your piece of paper two of this. One, let's say in color red and one in color green. And this is the first part of your class, and this is for you to practice and learn how to create the different intensity of the watercolors. Now, I am going to create the second exercise you are going to be practicing. And if to doing that, you can pause the video, finish this part of the exercise, and then you will move forward to the next example. I am picking different pieces of paper and you can pick different pieces of paper, but you, but you can really do it in one large piece of paper that will be available in class. So I am going to pull this. I am going to bring my watercolors. And again, I am going to create four circles. This is your next exercise. And remember, you can do this in just one simple, one simple piece of paper. You don't need to use multiple. Although if you want to pick more, it's fine. We'll continue using this. And now that you have learned the different intensities or transparency of the watercolors, we are going to practice something fun because with watercolors we need to play be playful play with colors and this will give you an idea of what we will do in class next time after you've learned how to activate your watercolors with the bottle of water and how to use them so let's go for our next exercise what this is your second exercise after you've done the first one we are going to create a damp just like the very first time let me move this a little bit below so that you can see it just a second i am setting this correctly there i think there is fine i am going to create a damp in here i just pull water from my cup i create a damp i am going to build uh, to pull uh, to pick excuse me i'm gonna pick the color green and i am going to create Let's say the quality of the coffee, which is not so, so, so transparent, but it's not so, so opaque either. I am going to create this. This is your second exercise, please remember. So I am gonna do that. I pick the color green. I rinse my brush and let me pull this my napkin. I'm rinse my brush remove a little bit of excess water and I am going to experiment. What am I going to experiment? Picking just a little bit of this blue, just a slight touch. And I am going to put it there, just there. And for this to move even more beautiful, I am going to pull water from my cup and add water there. And with little touches, I am going to do this. And I created a two color circle. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I am first going to rinse my brush. I am going to uh, remove some of the excess water and I am going to create another damp. Let me create a new damp for that. Let me slightly, let me clean my palette to make it in this space so that it's more visual for you. I'm gonna start creating a damp. So I'm gonna put in here water. Did you notice that the water is clean? Yes. Now I am gonna pick a color orange 
And now I'm going to create the quality of the coffee. Now you know the language. You know what's the language we're using. So the quality or intensity of the coffee, I am going to put it on my second circle. And do it as low. Enjoy it. It doesn't have to be rushed. So enjoy it first. This is, this is a, the first class. This is what you do to be playful and learn to use the watercolors. Well, I am going to rinse my brush, dry it a little bit in my napkin, and I am going to pick the color red, just a little bit of dab of red, and I am going to put it here. I think more, because this didn't mix all that much. Oh, I need more. You know what? This is becoming like very dry, I am going to pull my water and I'm going to add more water there to activate it even more. Yes. So I am going to pull the red. I do little touches. I grab, pick, just, just pick a little bit of water and add water there. Wow. Yes. What I want you to try in this exercise is to add enough water to create a combination of two colors on these circles. I am going to do a third one. I am going to rinse my brush. I am going to uh, remove the excess water. Let me clean this palette so that you see it more clearly. Because as remember, I'm doing it in just one shot. Record that video. I am going to pull water from my cup. I am going to create a damp and now I am going to pick this beautiful light blue to create still the quality of the coffee. So I am going to put it here and we'll pick another color, a more intense one. Let's see. I am going to pick mm, a purple. So I am going to first rinse my brush. Clean it a little bit, not clean it, removing excess water. I am going to pick purple from my palette and I am going to put it here. Oh, this looks beautiful. I love it, but I'm not going to leave it like that. I am going to pull my, pick more water from my cup and add water here, there. Oh, that's so nice. I love it. I love it. And I don't move the piece of paper so that it continues moving around. In watercolors, what's really more beautiful, it's when you let the water move and the colors create this very beautiful shapes going everywhere. The last circle, you are going to pick the colors, whichever colors you want to pick. And you will, you can pick any, just try it. Just very important thing is in watercolors, we do not, we do not use the white. This is very, very important. In watercolors, we do not use the white because the white is the paper. All right. So please finish this exercise. This is the second part of your exercise. As I said before, it can be created in just one large piece of paper, uh, but pick more if you need it. Once you are done with this, I am going to clean this. I am going to bring, I am going to just pick an, uh, I'm going to turn it upside down for you to see it. But the last and third exercise for your today's first class, you are going to pick the very, very smallest of the brushes available on the table. And we are going to exercise creating lines. And how do we create lines? I am going to pick water from my cup. I am going to create a damp. I am going to create a damp. And I am going to pick a color like this one. And I am going to create the quality of the milk, not the quality of the coffee. Quality of the milk requires more color. It's more intense. Once you have this, I want you to start creating lines. You will grab your brush like this, and then you will put it on the paper 
in try to draw a line. That's all you'll do for your third and last exercise. And I want you to please create different colors of lines. They don't have to be super straight. I just want you to please practice lines, making lines. And actually, if you want to pick another color, let me rinse my brush, remove water. Let me create another damp here on the side. I'm going to pull water. I'm going to create another damp. I am going to pull. Oh, if you notice, one very important thing is that every time I pulled colors from this palette, I clean the brush. I do not come and mix colors in here. No, 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 no. We never mix colors in here. So I'm going to do this. I am going to pick this orange color and I am going to create again the quality of the milk. And I am going to continue drawing lines. How many lines do I need to draw? Just try to fill the piece of paper that you have. And something very important. Be very, very mindful that when you are working with your watercolors, some will still be wet. So try not to set your hands on top of that and better let, let it set to dry. In my case, I, I'm playing and moving this around just for the ease to show you the three exercises. At the end, you do not lift, do not lift the brushes in the cup. You have to rinse the brush, gently clean it, rinse the brush, gently clean it, put it on the side, and then clean your palette where you were using or mixing colors. And this is the first part of your watercolors exercise. I'm gonna put this here on the side so that you see it. Hmm? Three exercises, intensity of the colors from tea, coffee, milk, and cream. Two, mixing two colors on these different, in the, on the, in, into these different circles and creating lines. Well, thank you very much for trying your first class. For the next one, then you can follow the class of the day. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.